Greetings everyone. Today we are going to compare Arzanti to the previous 5 star erudition character Jing Yuyan. First let me introduce you to the two characters. Jing Yuyan is the first released erudition 5 star character and his element is lightning. But in terms of damage, Jing Yuyan isn't much of a success. Many people disliked him because of his lack of damage. But in the other hand, Arzanti is an upcoming erudition 5 star character and his element is physical. But many people are hoping for him to be a high class top tier DPS character unlike Jing Yuyan and bring hope to the erudition type of characters. The reason why many people are waiting for Arzanti is because currently the erudition path has no great main no, DPS character. Because of this, many people are betting on Arzanti to become the first erudition damage dealer that can carry you through places like Memory of Chaos. And I am here to show you the difference between Arzanti and Jing Yuyan's power level. If you love the erudition path, then Arzanti is worth your try. And here's why. Arzanti's skill, Justice Always Prevails, deals high amount of physical damage to all enemies based on Arzanti's attack. His ultimate skill, Gift of Formless Beauty, consumes energy to deal physical damage to all enemies based on Arzanti's attack and consume either 100% or 200% of the energy cap. If 200% of the energy cap is used, the ultimate damage increases and deals 6 additional attacks to enemies at random. His talent Neutral Grey, when hitting enemies with normal attacks, skills or ultimate, restores 5 energy and gains 1 stack of self-cultivation, which increases Arzanti's crit rate by a certain percentage. This effect can stack up to 10 times. Arzanti's stresses are simple but useful. First stress, devotion, grand sim, a stack of self-cultivation when the round begins. Second one, generosity, increases his speed when the round begins. And the last one, his damage increases when an enemy's HP is below 50%. What I am trying to say is, Arzanti will also receive changes like Jing Lu and the other characters did and we can be sure about what kind of damage Arzanti will deal, what his exact ultimate damage percentage is, how much energy he consumes but one thing we are sure of that is from his skill kit we definitely know that we need to put him with Tin Yun Huo Huo kind of characters that can regenerate, regenerate his energy because Arzanti is focused on his ultimate skill and not his skill or any follow-up strike. Arzanti doesn't have any follow-up strike. To be honest, players in Honkai Star Rail are looking for an erudition character that can take down boss targets as well. Because erudition characters are good for multiple enemies and if an erudition character can take down boss targets and also take down multiple enemies, then that character is also an, you know, top tier DPS character like the Amy Beta Lunae. But Arzanti will be successful. You know Blade? I have Blade with his signature light cone. But Blade's damage and Jing Lu's damage is a huge difference. And Honkai Star Rail is always introducing us a better character than before of the same path in the upcoming updates every time. This is why there is a 95% chance that Arzanti will be a much better character and a successful DPS character unlike Jing Yuyan. But for now, we will have to wait and see until the second phase of 1.5 version. And if you still don't believe that Arzanti will be good, of course you can wait for 1.5 second phase and see for yourself. So for now, see you guys next time and thank you for watching this video.